Bruce, it's me again. <laughs> this is Mama Four. He says, how important to have a LinkedIn account. And please, can you help me build mine? Yes. I know you are super busy, but I appreciate your help. Okay. So there's a couple things I can do, Mama Four. First of all, let me switch my screen so I don't accidentally got show you guys some private stuff that I don't want shared. <laughs> let me uh, let me go ahead and switch this up. All right. So somebody asked me about their LinkedIn. LinkedIn has gotten very important if you're trying to get connected with the community, with jobs and things like that. If you're looking for a position, if you're advertising yourself, one of the most important things you can do is get on LinkedIn. It's one of the biggest sites for jobs, and they just did a great job of making a social media job type site. That's what it is. Very good site. Definitely want to be one of your first, your go-to places to go when you're building out your resume and you're marketing yourself. The biggest ones I talk about, the first one, I believe it's the first one I talk about on my marketing course. If you guys didn't know, if you if you just seeing this video for the first time, my name is Bruce. I do cybersecurity specifically for compliance. A lot of people don't talk about this. There's a couple guys out there who talk about it. I speak to it in layman's terms. I say you can get into this career field if you want to, if you happen to already be an IT guy, cybersecurity, com compliance pays very well. You have to deal with people, you know, so it's going to have some stress with it. But I tell you how to market yourself. I do all this stuff on my site called Combo Courses. If you're interested, there's a link in the description below. If not, that's cool. You can just go on my site and get this stuff for free. I'm okay with that too. I just want to help people out. That's my main mission in life. You help people out, the universe or whatever it is finds a way to help you out too. And I always appreciate that. So I'm, I'm building up my own karma. This is a very selfish act I'm doing. <laughs> I'm helping you so I can help myself. <laughs> All right. Let me show you how I do this. What you're looking at now is my LinkedIn screen. Let me switch this up on the – this is my LinkedIn, right? If you guys are interested, just search Bruce Brown, Risk Management Framework. I'm sure I'll come right up. Bruce Brown, CISSP. RMF. Join me. Join me and we'll connect. I'll go through every now and then I'll just do this mass connect. Connect with me. Eventually I'll connect back with you. Let me switch my screen. Sorry about that. Yeah, there it is right there. LinkedIn. So let me ex explain to you what I do. Now, if you are interested, I have a whole course on this. It breaks all this stuff down. It goes part by part. It's called Cybersecurity marketing is a very good, one of my best, in my opinion, one of my best courses because this has worked for me for years. Fill out every part. Let me just explain, okay? Fill out every freaking part of this thing. Fill. Don't leave anything out. Fill out every part of this, every part of this thing. That's, that's it. That's it. Fill out every part of it. How do you do it? You want to put this picture. You want to put a picture up here. You want to put a little picture of yourself here. You want to Fill out what schools you've gone to, where you're working currently. You want to keep it up to date. You want to put lots of key words in there. That's one of the main things I talk about in my course. But here you go. Fill out every part of this. Look at this. This is new. Pronouns. He, him. Put that in there too. Don't leave anything out. I don't care how you feel about it. You don't want to put your school in there. Put your school in there. You don't like the whole gender thing. He, him. Put it in there anyway. Who cares what you think? Who cares? You're trying to get a job, right? Get a job. Fill out every part of this thing every part put your school in there put your i notice a lot of guys a lot of people do not fill this thing out and then they ask me why they're not getting a job fill this thing out P look how many people contact me i got 99 i don't know if you can see this i got 99 notifications this is from people trying to contact me about jobs it's lo it's still loading it's so many it's still loading okay I, I don't have time for that so i have so many offers and so many people contact me on linkedin because i filled my whole thing out Fill this thing completely out, Mama Four. That's what you do. Fill it completely out. Fill out this whole thing. There's a couple tricks here. Let me. I'll show you a couple tricks. Okay. So one of the tricks is when you fill this part out. Let me see if I can show you this part right here. Where is it? Edit contact information. There's like one part that's really. Oh, headline. See this headline part? Like a lot of people don't fill this out. Like this headline part is important. Put your best skills up here i put my best skills up here in headline all these keywords right it used to be arc i haven't done arc in a long time diacap people used to hit me up all the time about diacap this is actually really outdated but sometimes people still contact me about this yeah put all your best keywords in here risk management framework rmf if you have a cisp you have a security plus put it up here all i did was list them all out every single one of them 
what else can you do? There's another, I'm looking for another trick that you can do here. That's a really good one, and I'm trying to find for you. See, when you do the headline, that comes right up under your name, right there. See that? Copy, okay, you follow me on, on LinkedIn, good. Copy what I'm doing. Look at what I'm doing and copy exactly what I'm doing. You know what, another thing you can do is, let me just show you a couple other tricks. About, okay, look, this is one of them right here. Go to about right here. Put every keyword you could possibly think of in here. Right? You only have a limited amount. I think you have up to 2,000 or something, right? You have up to 2,000 things you could put, uh, characters or words in there. And if you're looking for a remote position, put it in there. If you have certifications, put them in there. The reason why you want to put keywords in there is because the algorithm itself, let me talk to you for a second. This is really important. If you take nothing else from what I'm telling you, if you take nothing else from what I'm telling you from this, right? So LinkedIn, Indeed.com, Dice, you want to be on all those. Monster, those are some of the best, right? Not just LinkedIn. Like most of my jobs come from Monster, to be honest with you. Put your resume on all of them. The more saturation, the more places your resume is loaded, the more you're marketing yourself. The more people see you, the more people are liable to click. And your resume has to be good, okay? You need to put keywords in there. If you've done risk management framework, you need to put things like NIST 837, NIST 853. If you're familiar with those, FIPS 199, right? Here's how I've worked with these things. Those are all keywords for what you do. Continuous monitoring, put keywords in there. And the reason why is because when you put the keywords in there, the algorithm is looking for these keywords. The recruiters, the, techno, the technical recruiters are looking for specific keywords that if it's not in your resume, they will never find you. And the next question you should ask yourself is, well, Bruce, how do I find keywords? What, how do I do that? If you're a risk management framework, you can just look at my resume. I've got a ton of keywords in there. Fill out all of your work experience. I notice a lot of people don't do that. Put all your work experience in there, okay? But another way that you can find keywords is look at other people's resume. It'll be all over their resumes. Let me show you what I mean here. Handy dandy search feature on LinkedIn. So if I go to LinkedIn and I'm searching for, uh, let's see, RMF, I don't know. RMF is a keyword. I'm looking for, I'm looking for people. See, see, it search people, companies, and then groups and jobs, right? So ISO, there's some jobs right here. That's cool. But what we're looking for is keywords. So this, see how this guy came up number one? That means his ranking is pretty good. See how it already has keywords in there? Not just RMF, but he has NIST RMF. He has cybersecurity. He has CISSP, that's a keyword. So let's say you don't have a CISSP. You could put working on CISSP. You could put that in there, you know? And then what you do is look at this guy's resume. Why is he coming up on top? Why? Why is that? Look at what he put in here. Look at these keywords. He has the about page. He has EMAS, Exacta. He has all kinds of keywords. This guy, is he's keyword rich. He's got, he filled out all of his experience. Look at this. This is a really good resume. This is a really, really well done right. He filled the whole thing out. He's got tons of keywords all over the place in this thing. That's what you want to do. That's what you Here's another trick. Oh, that's really cool. That's really smart. Look at this. Independent RMF contractor. No, that's not what I... Owner. Look at this. He made a risk management security group. What's to stop you from doing a risk management security group? And then you could put... You're the owner of the risk management security group. <laughs> And you do research. I'm not telling you to lie or anything. Like you should actually do that if you want to do it. But that's really cool. He's the owner of a risk management framework security group. And he just puts all the stuff he did in the security group. I mean, that's brilliant. That's really smart. Like you could just make your own community and then put your own keywords in there. Damn, that's really smart. I have to use that trick. <laughs> anyway, that's how you gather keywords. You steal them from other people. I'm not telling you to lie, but I'm just telling you the keyword use. You're using certain words on your resume that are not keywords. Steal the keywords from other people. Like maybe you're spelling out the whole word risk management framework, right? You want to probably use RMF and then you want to use variations because there's different keywords. Not everybody's just going to type risk management framework. Some people are going to type NIST RMF or just RMF or just NIST 837. Like use every variation. That's what this guy did. That's why... He's coming up number one on that search. Number one on the search. That means something on this thing. That means when somebody's looking for somebody to hire, 
he's coming up number one.